Welcome back, everyone, to the Fish Tank. Chris, a.k.a. J3, will be joining us on today's episode. J3 is a full-time streamer from Florida with a big history in the competitive scene for Overwatch, participating in contenders and many other tournaments. Much like your boy, he also played on a team for Team Fortress 2, which makes sense to transition from a class-based first-person shooter to Overwatch. He's currently a content creator for the Overwatch League team Florida Mayhem and has recently launched an IRL channel where I see you did gift your brother a whole Mustang for a video. J3, welcome to the podcast. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. This is uh, interesting. Yeah. Did you just uh, read his Liquipedia like you did. I, okay, yeah, I got a lot of information. You went I, all the way back to TF2 days. Yeah, of course. Well, I actually Dude, knew that the uh, most important days. beforehand. Yeah. Uh, we also have Louis, who is Ooh. from Florida. I guess just from Florida. To start off oh, this nice. podcast, um, J3, you probably get this question a lot, but what is your most Florida man news type headline thing that you've done in your life? <laughs> Oh man, so uh, where should I begin? That's a question. <laughs> no, it's not really. Uh, I have a lot of stories, but um, I guess I could go from uh, my next door neighbor, right? In, the, in one day, we, uh, we have a neighbor that we, we used to hang out with, right? He used to live right in front of me. And, and we have another neighbor that's like a few houses down. We threw rocks at a beehive <laughs> and ran, ran all the way to his house. We hid in his house. They were chasing us. And then while hiding in his house, we decided to go into his closet because he lit a f motor, like a firework, and then threw it in his room. So we hid behind the closet. <laughs> and then at the same time that it was about to explode, his grandma opened up the door <laughs> and, and, it, and it blew up. It was, uh, yeah, that's probably, eh. Yeah. That's well, I feel like okay. I just got totally lost in that in that story. Like you, you, you threw rocks at a beehive, you hid in someone's house, and then someone then lit fireworks while you were in the house. Yes, is that that's oh, what happened? Of, yeah. The the same same was, uh, <laughs> what, yeah. Same... What exactly was like going through your heads? Like, well, there's bees chasing us. You know what bees hate? Fireworks. That's the perfect <laughs> I, way to ward them off. <laughs> he, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. The, it's the the same kid also uh, lit a. Uh, his, his Christmas tree on fire next to his house almost caught his house on fire. Okay, well, that's that's understandable. I had, a, a, yeah. I had an old boss that used to do that. Like at the end of every, um, the end of every uh, Christmas event, like his his entire thing was like he had a massive tree in his house that he would take out to his yard and he would just like build like a campfire of stones around it and then he would just be like, all right, who wants to do the honors? And then someone would light a like a, a match and just throw it on it. And the entire oh, thing would just crazy. burst into flames. It was yeah, so they are, cool. They are very uh, combustible. Yeah, we used to do that in my neighborhood. We would get uh, all the kids. Once Christmas was over, there was like, like maybe like five of us. We'd get our Christmas trees, put them in one of our friends' backyard that who's like the biggest backyard, line them up, light them on fire, and try to jump over the. <laughs> Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a good time right there. It was really fun. Arguably, the best part about camping too is you know setting shit on fire. Oh yeah. So I mean, sure. like it's like having a little campfire in your backyard, except you know, huge. They burn like, t like, they can bust so fast. It's so yeah. scary to have those things in your house, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> it's like having a uh, what's the what are the palm trees like uh, in Australia? The like the eucalyptus trees. They just yeah. explode. They when explode. You set them on fire. <laughs> That's how mm -hmm. they spread their seeds. You set the tree on fire, and then the seeds just like well. <laughs> I know how to get some seeds around this part of the world. Bam! <laughs> Just see a koala flying off into the distance. <laughs> Jay, you wanted to um, you wanted to become a nurse originally. Uh, that's what yes. I learned from that background. What was your? How far did you? I think you you got like an AA in nursing, and then you just suddenly switched to streaming. How did that happen? Yes. Yeah, so. Um, I and, and if I go really far into my, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you know my history, I wanted to be a nurse because uh, my mom had ALS and okay. she passed yeah. away when I was um, 17. So uh, I wanted to go into nursing basically to like, you know, because uh, I could like, you know, relate to people. I wanted to go and, um, you know, help other people. And that's what I'm going to be doing on the new IRL channel. And I wanted to start that channel off with my brother because, you know, my family. And, that's awesome. Uh, so, so what I'm doing, so what I did is I, yeah, I went to school for nursing. Uh, I got my AA, but at the same time, I think Overwatch came out and, uh, it was like season one or two. It was Beyblade meta, Reaper meta. And I was like, you know, some guy was like, Hey, try out, uh, we need a ringer play, play for us one game. And I said, sure. And, uh, 
it, we did really well. We started doing tournaments, and I told my dad, my dad, hey, give me one week because I finished my AA. I was gonna go to a private nursing school, and I was like, hey, give me one week, see where this goes. And we had we ended just up getting picked week? up by Renegades. Yeah, just one week. That's In crazy. A week? Yeah, we got picked up by Renegades, and my dad uh, just let me just let me go along with it. So were you gaming before this? Like, were you always just like a big gamer, like FPS shooter, or did you just pick up? Oh, Overwatch? for sure, yeah, yeah. No, no, I've been gaming my whole life since like Counter Strike one point three, one point five, like, and like uh, Salty said, I was uh, I was really big in the TF two. I think I put like five thousand hours in the TF two. Uh, wow, you know, what class? At UGC, what class? I was playing sniper a lot, and then when Overwatch came sniper. out, I just jumped on the Overwatch train. Dang, so you weren't a soldier player? No, no, no. So you didn't you didn't really face much backlash, it seems, from, like, family and friends about, like, that's a huge switch. Like, uh, with my, I kind of struggled with it because I was going to uh, film and, like, production, mostly editing type thing. So it kind of was similar to YouTube in that sense. But that's, like, a completely different change of background with nursing. Yeah, for sure. It was, uh, it wasn't, it was, it was hard at first, I'm gonna be honest with you, like anything else. Like, yeah. uh, you know, the first... Yeah, and so we got picked up by Renegades. I guess it was a little hard to influence my dad to do it because I think at, before Renegades, I, it was like, tw you know, streaming got like twenty dollars a month or something. Yeah. So it was it was hard, but that I'm pretty sure that's what kicked everything off. And well, then you told your dad just give me a week. I thought like this entire thing started in like oh, the course of a week. I'm like, wow, that is an explosive amount well, of growth. Like you just no, start I, streaming and you just I, instantly picked up with a team. <laughs> no, no, I was I was playing tournaments before and whatnot. But then like there, we had this one opportunity with Renegades because they were they were looking for teams to you know join the Overwatch uh, yeah. scene. So uh, I think it was within that week. I, I I played here and there though, but mostly did a lot of school. Yeah. What was so what it like in the early the... days of uh, Overwatch like League, or like the professional? Oh, play? I was never Overwatch League, but it was fun. Fingers. I'm gonna be honest with you. Comparing Over Overwatch from now to back then, I think back then was a lot more fun. You had, yeah. you know, you had not just the Overwatch League. You had any teams could participate in tournaments. So right. you had like, you know, you had uh, teams from everywhere. You had the Cloud Nine. You had Envy. You know, and um. You had a lot more tournaments. You had the Carbon Series. You had uh, Alienware Monthly Melees. And I think I think those tournaments were, no offense to the Overwatch League, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, for me, it, it kind of yeah. turns me off to watching Overwatch League because I like those teams. I follow, like, a lot of those orgs in other games and stuff like that. And I think that that's, like, way – it's just cooler, like, to, to see, like – Especially, like, with Rocket League, or watching professional Rocket League, a team, a random team named fucking, like, Girl Scout, like, cookies can come in and just, like, <laughs> exactly, dominate, yeah. and then get picked up by a giant org, like, the next year, and then suck for and two years. You know, it's like, it's fucking... Well, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I like about back then. Like, you could have no-name teams come out of nowhere that just put together a team, and they're doing really well. And then show up in a tournament and do really well against, you know, signed teams. Yeah. See, that's what I like. But Overwatch League, you know... I don't. That's and, what Overwatch and League fears. That's what yeah. they're terrified of. The randoms coming in out of nowhere and being like, "We signed you guys to be the best, and you're telling me Chuck Forty Two just kicked your ass for an hour and a half." <laughs> they literally, they literally solo queued in Overwatch. Like, we don't want any of these randoms in our league. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just voice line spamming the entire time just teabagging on the point Were like, you? Dude, how, how are you losing to this it's like i don't know he's just a torp one trick he i've never seen anyone hit these hey, shots before that's what i do <laughs> wait yeah were you, you still going by trick, do you? jesus back then like j3 sus or something like that yeah i was <laughs> so, did you ever uh, get yeah, hate no. for having that name uh no not really but uh, you get a case you like occasional some people will be like yo why are you doing that name and i'll just be like it's from back from TF2, like when you I played with my next door neighbor who got me into gaming. Once once you got a kill in TF2, it'd be like Jesus plus he named himself Christ, so it'd be like Jesus Christ got a kill. <laughs> <laughs> but we were I was a kid, but yeah. Then as soon as like streaming and everything took off, I rebranded the J3 because everyone called me J3 for short. That makes sense. I love that name. It's a good name. Yeah. J three, nice. I, Two syllables. I like I the J three sus. If you if it didn't spell out Jesus, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, for sure. During the uh, 
the Among Us meta. That must have been like a big thing for you. Every well, time he you wasn't go going by already got it down. That wasn't going by then. Yeah, that was way after the fact. You in game, you didn't change your name to G three sus and be like, yeah, this is perfect. We got to break <laughs> oh, it I out did, again for sure. <laughs> Jesus just vented. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he has returned. <laughs> that was a good game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Louis always wants to play Among Us nowadays. <laughs> Nobody ever wants to play anymore. <laughs> I, I think it's dead now, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. I, dude, yeah. I hate Among Us. Oh, my God. I just wanted to be this imposter every time. Waiting around to die is, like, my least favorite True. thing ever. That's why I hate horror movies. It's just like, oh, man, you just have to sit here and wait for that ghost to kill you. That's rough, man. That's rough. <laughs> that is true. It's like the only video games I refuse to play are the ones where, like, your character is forced to just run away from every option. Like, I can't even get a gun. I can't put up a fight. I gotta run. Oh, Outlast on, is like that. Have you ever played Outlast? I love Scary Outlast. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm terrified of Outlast. Outlast 2 was pretty good. <laughs> I learned how to speed run it. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's like really, big it's a really running. broken game. Like you could just like jump over a hedge, and then it'll automatically teleport you to like the last level or something. What like the it's, heck? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Lou's uh, been trying to grind out speedrunning like crazy. Have you ever done? Yeah, speed I've been running doing good? Super Mario 64. Have you ever done Jeez. that? Uh, I haven't sped run those. No, I've seen uh, the one the one game I tried to get onto on stream that chat wanted was uh, uh, God, you're in that pot. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, uh, getting over it. Yeah, getting, getting over, over it. I over tried it. that. Nah, it makes me just want to like break my desk in half. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen some speed runs of it, and it's just crazy how fast they go. Yeah, that yeah, game that's... was a lot of fun to uh, yell at. Louis almost like actually Louis has broken a couple things in those types of games. He did Jump yeah. King and like literally smashed his headphones like in half. <laughs> I threw Jeez. my phone. There's like a hole in my wall. That's yeah, not good. Yeah, I was visiting Louie from uh, from New York back when I, I used to live in New York, and I was visiting him across the country in California for only a week. And even on some nights, Louie would rather play Jump King than go out with me at the time for that one <laughs> week that I was there staying at his house. He was very Come into on, it. Oh, man. <laughs> well, me and Tubal were we, we had a race going to see who could beat it first. And even though he oh. beat it in 70 hours, he was able to stream more than me. So I beat it in 45, but he beat it first. Like so. Oh. See, that was the hardest game I've ever played in my life. I was miserable for 70 hours. <laughs> yeah, you. I don't know how you can do that. I think I did it like for like three hours and gave up. I think fish. You got. You can't give up. You can't. Oh give yeah, up. that you yeah. Gotta, literally three just... hours. Then I was done. I I fell to the bottom. I was like, no, I'm. I, I just did all that for yeah. nothing. No, no, thank you. I have you not gotta, learned anything. You gotta do it. The high you feel from completing one of those games for the first time is oh. ima- I, amazing. However, I did never do it again. Like that, yeah. Oh, we're we're gonna do that next. Me and two will we're gonna race. Alt F four is fun. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Well, do that's you really fun. I beat it. Game. Do you have a um? What do you call it? A YouTube channel for like other games, or do you just upload everything to the main channel? Because I know you have the IRL channel. That was what surprised me. The uh, do you have a second channel for that for other games yes. like variety stuff? So I have the main J three channel, which yeah. is Overwatch and only Overwatch. I have J three of I think it's called. Let me see. I think it's called oh, just man, J- he doesn't, he doesn't know I think his it's own just called J32. 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 It's called, it, it, that's just variety. So there's, a, there, you know, Dead by Daylight, you know, Prop yeah. Night, yeah, yeah. Apex, anything variety related. And then Shorts Channel. Then I have the IRL. I'm going to mil- mainly focus on the IRL, which is uh, going to be really fun. Yeah, I, I, I saw. Can hear I, some I, of the plans for that? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I have a lot of plans for that. Um. So it's gonna be like kind of, kind of like a Mr. Beast type of vibe, you know. I love it. But, but, but like I'm gonna do like my own little twist. So, uh, I I wanted to start out with my family, obviously, and uh, the next one I haven't even told anyone is that uh, it's I can I, I can spoil it here if you oh, guys want. Boy. Yeah. yeah. It's up to so you, So the man. next video We're I want to do it. when I get my the camera I've been waiting for for a month is uh, I'm gonna be basically uh, a homeless man's best friend for a day. Oh, that's awesome. So you're going to go around and just kind of, like, live the day with him, like, a day in the life of... Yeah, I'm just going to do cool stuff with him. So, like, uh, so in the, like I already have some of it planned out. Like, in the beginning, I wanted to get, like, you know, if he wants, go get clothes, get, get like, a haircut, whatever he wants. And then, like, go do go do cool stuff with him that, you know, it would be, it'd be fun to do. Like, I mean, since I'm in Miami, we could just go to, you know, could go to <laughs> Disney World if he's never been. You could go, you know, bowling. You could go to the beach. Go eat somewhere nice. Whatever he wants to do, basically. That would be so. That's, that's, big, that's a great video. I love that. 
It's going to be so fun. Are you, do you have like a, a team or I guess like people that you know, like friends that could help with that type of stuff? Like with production? Uh, not r I mean, I have my YouTube editor that's doing my, um, you know, Oh yeah. Uh, I, I meant as in like, uh, like actually recording. Cause that's something that I like to struggle. I've tried dipping my toes into vlogging a bit. And one thing that I just am bad at, is literally just pulling out the camera and recording it. The, oh, it's, so it's just I me. did the first video. I did the first video by myself and that was hard. Yeah. And I'm a streamer. I'm like used to having chat and interacting with chat, yeah. but like doing it on your own is difficult, but I have uh, some friends. Uh, one of the guys that got me into photography a long time ago is gonna help uh, record, and you know. Oh, perfect. Gonna, yeah, gonna gonna help me out basically. Oh, that's awesome, I, definitely man. I hope this goes really well. Like doing stuff like that, holding a selfie stick, kind of takes you out of it. So if you have like some guy like also filming, I think it it lets you be more in the moment. Yeah, for like, sure, for sure. Yeah. Like holding the camera, I don't know how people can do that. Like I watch food vloggers and whatnot do all that stuff. It's it's crazy. Also, so when the camera hits you, it's different. So for this, uh, the camera IRL channel, you. what was the, what was like the, what made you want to do that? Like, was it something you've always wanted to do or like maybe you just had like a moment of, of clarity, uh, clarity? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're just like, ah, oh, snug clarity. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no, it's just something I wanted to do. It's something I wanted to do my whole life. I like helping people, you know. Right now, I could, you know, COVID going on, I could distract people while they're working and whatnot, yeah. and I'm, I'm glad I could do that. But, like, I want to do it, like, on a more uh, personal level, I guess you could say. I like, you know, making other people happy and, you know, supporting other people. So, um, it just just like that i i've i've been through the lowest lows you know in my life so and i and i know it sucks you know being alone or like you know st stuff like that basically and i just want to help people it's awesome man it's very That's basically that. it yeah. have you already for for the next video have you ever met like a, a homeless man that you want to do it or are you just gonna be like pick like find a random one in, oh, just uh, find a random one. There's a lot. I love that. Around here. Uh, I was going to say, when I was in high school, I think I was either 16 or 17, uh, for my math class, the teacher did this. I forget the name of the program, but what they do is that they uh, have to count how many homeless people they can find throughout the night and report it back for, like, a consensus stuff. Uh, and we volunteered so that we literally had to go up to people that we saw in the subways and on the streets at 3 a.m. in the morning and be and try to basically interview them and find out if they were homeless and that was just uh i guess in the moment it was kind of scary because we couldn't oh, all yeah, like was. just charge them as a group so part of the plan was that we had to go up again 16 17 year olds going up to these uh people in the middle of the night 3 a.m and like trying to ask them some of that uh but for the most part some of them are pretty uh, friendly when it comes to i guess being open about that uh yeah there's some there's some friendly ones i've met you know just going around if i go to a restaurant there might be like you know someone out there like panera i was i saw some guy at panera and he was like hey can you get me something i just asked him hey yo come in and just get whatever you want so like we're gonna we're gonna be do, doing a lot of good stuff like that or even like you know going to restaurants and tipping waiters or waitresses and, yeah you know, stuff like that it's gonna be a good video and a lot that. of people i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be like hey uh because i already had some say this like oh hey you're just gonna do it for the views and whatnot but like i'm right as it is right now i'm basically i don't have any sponsorships or anything for this channel everything's gonna be out of pocket for now and then hopefully if the channel gets big enough it's gonna be able to support its stuff whatever the channel makes that's what will go into the videos and whatnot so we can help more people i mean you're always gonna have people that are like that though that are just everybody like, likes they see yeah, anyone doing something good oh, and they're yeah. just like well it's for yeah. profit it's like dude come on man oh yeah for like, sure i've been streaming streaming for a, a long time already so i i see a lot of a lot of things people say yeah of course it's the internet yeah there's always gonna be a hater out there you just kind of put them in the back and be like hey, listen you keep your doubt i'm gonna get this guy a hamburger because you know he you know he deserves it quite frankly true I don't think there's like anything inherently there. wrong with, uh, like, I don't like those kind of people that they, they just, like, want to find the worst in, in even doing something great, like, I don't know, giving your brother a car or, like, hanging out with a homeless person or whatever, whatever kind of, like, plans you have, which I... I fucking love it. I just subscribed and I'm. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm ready hey, to. Each new subscriber from in 2022 is a five cents to a charity. So. Oh, huge. That's amazing. That works. When I watched that video, I was like, "Wait, really?" And then I checked uh, on the subscription. That's that literally. I guess that was a good. Uh, what's the word? Jaw dropping, 
eye-catching thing to say. It actually worked. Yeah, for sure. No, Mr. Beast did something similar. He did like yeah. you know, I think he did ten cents, but I you know, I'm not, I'm not no Mr. Beast, so I'm, <laughs> I'm so I'm gonna do five. <laughs> Hopefully, if it grows, we could uh, do more. Yeah, it's dope. I love that. It, the channel's called That Good Guy. Just for anybody listening, if you guys want to go subscribe and give five cents to charity, and yeah, you can prepare for good content. And then once you start uh, making more, then you can really bring up the professional aspect, which I was uh, wondering, because you're being a part of Florida Mayhem. They have you on. I don't know if they specifically had you on set, but I'm just wondering because I saw Bro You Whack. They brought him uh, with a professional uh, sponsor and everything. They put him on a set and they had him just answer these questions for a video. And I was wondering if you've ever been involved in a on set type of things where they have cameramen and people with like props and all that have you ever been part of that no uh i've been over to uh, florida mayhem's headquarters and whatnot it's like an hour drive but i've, I've done some recording there and whatnot uh i've I, it actually yeah the j3 uh the j3 story i linked it to you i don't know oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah 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 we did something similar like that so yeah that's that's a whole new situation for me i'm used to being comfortable in my own room streaming mm -hmm. with my own camera my chat but like doing something like that makes me it's, it's different, so I make, I'm like, I'm really bad at that. You, so, do you think you'd want to get into it so you, you know, have more experience, you feel more comfortable doing that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, uh, I, think, I think it's fun. Yeah, it's definitely a dream of mine to just build up to that eventually. Maybe in a production sure site team. Oh, you're almost at a million subs, are you not? I've been stuck for a little bit, but yes, I am almost I at mean, a million still. subs. We're treading water, Jay. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Overwatch 2 is only uh, three years away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even though um, it's weird because I uploaded a League of Legends video recently, and even though that was, I, I tweeted about this, uh, just so people know, this was my worst performing video in years, but I gained a lot of subscribers compared to uh, my other videos, which was strange. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, so I don't it's know. Have dipping your toes like into that. new resources, man. Yeah, yeah. That's good, though. What, um, so, have... You go, Louis. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, you consider yourself a big streamer. I think I would consider you a big streamer. Like, oh, yeah. Have, yeah. There, how long were you streaming to, like, a couple viewers? And was there, like, a specific moment that, like, you saw your stream take off? Like, what did that yeah. feel like? So, um, I think for the first, like, six months or something, I streamed 12 hours a day after scrims to, this, like, five people. Jesus. Uh, yeah, for, for, for a very long time. Then So, then, I mean, consistency, I, th I think, is key. So, that five people became 10, then 20, then 50. And then I got around, like, 100 to 200 for a while. Then uh, the bug meme. I don't know if you guys know the bug oh, meme. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's what Yo, J3, blew, there's a bug on you. <laughs> yeah, that cha that's what blew my channel up, basically. It, you know, got all over Fresh Nuts, Noob Hunter, a lot of channels, and basically and got a lot of attention. We yeah. did that on, on, on Fish's channel a lot, too. We just, like, randomly throw our ults at him. I'm yeah, pretty sure I have a title that. that was inspired by that meme. Yeah, <laughs> got a lot of views. Yeah, that's, that's was, basically uh... what uh, blew my channel up, and I'm, I'm you know, I'm grateful for it. The internet's crazy, it, so. man. Did the guy yeah. who sparked the meme ever ask for royalties? No. He <laughs> apparently did it to someone before, but I guess my reaction is what made it very, uh, you know, <gasps> made it popular, I guess. Yeah. It wasn't original. <laughs> so he was just I doing mean, no, that joke. Apparently. He yeah, so this joke. guy was doing a joke, and then I'm like, you know, I reacted how I reacted, and then I oh think God. a week or two later, people were like, oh, you weren't the first one or something. I was it could like, have God. happened to one of us. <gasps> yeah. This no, I think basically what happened. I, I think, think you were chosen fantastic. for a reason as the bug. Uh, I just got the mad bug. someone was throwing my game. <laughs> <laughs> hey. and, and look where your anger led you, because you literally just lost a bunch of games after that, because that everybody oh, wants yeah. you that meme after. Oh man, <laughs> just, I dropped, I dropped like seven hundred SR in one day. Oh my <laughs> god, seven hundred! Oh my god! At some point, you just have to turn it off. <laughs> just stop. Nah. Stop playing. That's crazy. I think I went. No, I think no, I went no. like two and seventeen the first day that came out. 
<laughs> See, now that to me is like a crazy level of losses. Like I played Jump King for like 12 hours straight the first time I played it, and that was basically just L after L after L. I don't think I could go 2 and 17 in Overwatch and still oh, play the man. game. There's no way no. I'd be like I can't. I need to take I need to take a year break from this. <laughs> Especially when like 90% of the people are just like, "Hey, guess what? A bug." I'm like, "You're not original. Stop it." <laughs> <laughs> We're in masters right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it went from like four point four to four point five to the, my lowest like three point eight or something. Oh, so, Jesus! And then, and then you know, since since you get all the way down there, you know, people who usually don't see you see you, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And then they the fuck, I have to do it. <laughs> and it keeps going and going and going. It's awful. <laughs> What do you think was your favorite competitive experience across all the games that you have you know, like played competitively? Do you think it was like TF2 is so very like nostalgic to you, or is it like Overwatch was like, oh my god, it was the best time ever, that kind of thing? I think Overwatch. I mean, TF2 was the first, but I think I think Overwatch by far because you know, growing up, you know, I've heard about these people having houses and they play games in the house, like team houses, and I was like, yeah. wait, there's, this is ridiculous. They get paid to stay in a house and play games. That's it's crazy and then uh it yeah so it, it happened it happened on renegades <laughs> and you know it was fun it was a good experience that's awesome man what was it I like living a with a bunch though. of gamers dirty exactly yeah it was it was dirty bro no one wanted to cook or anything everyone oh, just ordered God. everything you know I, I i was really heavy into the gym so we didn't really we never went to the gym i went from like weighing 155 to 120 Oh, like 10 oh, wow. months of oh, never yeah, not going to the gym that's crazy you should incorporate video, working out for for videos and streams have you ever done that no not really i mean some people ask like hey what do you do but i'm like i, I i'm not and as then you'd be like let me show you you bring out the camera and just start <laughs> throwing on him no bro I feel, I feel like it's like really i think it's really weird to go to a gym with a camera and start recording <laughs> yourself my I buddy does that all the time. Yeah, he's a he's a power lifter, and he's just like you want to sh- want to see me deadlift I mean, four hundred fifty pounds. Like a, I'm like, okay, I mean, like, yeah, I want to see. Unless that. you're like one of those, what are you gonna say to someone like you know? Huge <laughs> You'll stop recording. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, the cell phone looks like you know small in my hand, but they're using a big DSLR, and it looks like a, like a little phone to them. They're like. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. I was gonna say thing, in, your, in your video riding the bike, I see your your arms. I was like, holy shit, this guy's like ripped. <laughs> I, I love the gym. It, yeah. it helped with a lot. I, I love I love the gym. Such a positive way to work through your stress instead of ninety percent of what I've been doing. <laughs> it's hard to balance sometimes though, because I just want to stream. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I understand that. There was a time where um. Uh, to get out of my depressive funk after i like graduated college i had like no direction right so was, my mom was just like hey you need to get the hell out of the house like you don't have to leave but i mean you need to get out of that you need to go outside i'm like all right what if i go to the gym will that like can we counterbalance that so you get off my back <laughs> like yeah sure i'm like all right cool and i did that i went to two sessions a day an hour each for like two months and it was the craziest thing ever. And it's the only thing I did. I woke up, I went to the gym, passed out, woke up again, went back to the gym, ate food, passed out again. And that was like it for two months straight. And I, it was, you feel great. You really do once you get past that first week of wanting to like just vomit. Oh, your guts yeah. Out. I, swear this. <laughs> oh, I could God, never do so that. I, I get sweaty so easily. I would have to shower like three times a day if I did two I mean, sessions. Yeah. I would be fine to doing it once a day, but twice. That would, yeah, yeah I, I mean, that's what I did. It's crazy. I just like sitting in the shower. I was just like, ah, ha, 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 gym time. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that's it. That's it, how it went. But it, it works, man. It really does. It's uh, you, you, When you start seeing results, it's like, oh, I understand now. Because when you first start, you're like, okay, I'm waking up every day in the most pain I've ever been in. And then I have to go and do working out while I'm in this pain. And I also have to eat a lot of meat. Okay. Exactly. I mean, I guess. But then you keep going, and then you just you end up looking like J three, where you're just like you're sitting there casually, and I can literally see his bicep. No, just not, anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I can literally see the veins in your bicep. Your right now, shirt man. is oh. tight. I can There's see no it. wrinkles <laughs> on the, right around the bicep. Yeah, I wear I wear baby small. <laughs> That's why it's the only place I could uh, go to, man. You see, I used to be J three. How tall, be... How How tall yeah. are you? I was into fitness, man. How tall five. am I? Five seven. Yeah. You're five, five seven, five, seven five, gang. Five eight with shoes, yes, five, eight with shoes. I'm five seven with shoes still. I'm like at the very lowest end of five seven with shoes. I'm still five seven. <laughs> <laughs> You're just five seven. 
<laughs> I'm not those five souls, six. Man. <laughs> they won't give me this, man. They won't. Give they always me. make fun of me for my height, man. Yeah, well I know. Too. I'm right there with you. But when we get when we work out, we look fucking good, don't we? Ah, uh, yeah, that's short a, people, a, man. Yeah, since we're small, we we look huge. <laughs> yeah, we look fucking like our bul- our muscles are bulging out. I don't look like that right now, but I mean, like your goals, man. <laughs> Every five okay. seven dude looks the same eventually, which is good. <laughs> I used to do sports a lot as a kid, and up until uh, I was a pitcher for my baseball team, um, like traveling. And then I got tendonitis and they, my arm, every time, even now, if I throw mm. something, I like, I, my arm hurts and I can't like do anything. And then I just kind of like stop caring about, uh, everything. <laughs> and then, Ooh, yeah, that yeah. sucks. But Get luckily then the I worst. found music and I've just been doing that ever since. So, oh, what do you play? well, I, I'm a producer. Uh, like, oh, okay. That's yeah. pretty cool. I always wanted to get into music, but I, I'm no, I can't. Ooh, okay. What part? From what type of music? Oh, just like at learning an instrument. I, I, in, high, in, mid, in elementary school, I played the recorder, bro. I could play some nice hot crust <laughs> buns or whatever. It's <laughs> Let me break But like, I, I think the piano here. or the guitar. Yes, or, piano. That's what I play. All the band nice. instruments. So I, I can play the drums, the bass, the guitar, the piano. Piano is like, a very attractive instrument to play, in my opinion. Louis Grammy yeah. nominated. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. Nice. I don't know why you bring. You should that up listen to. to uh, you should listen to Flowers and Sex. It's one of my favorite collaborations <laughs> that he's done. It's great. It's really good. Uh, Blew up on TikTok I'll, I'll too. To that for this. Did you ever? Mm-hmm. You ever like play music on your stream or whatever? Like for, or like because I I'm uh, with Monster Cat. Like not signed to them, but like I've released a bunch on there, and I know that a lot of gamers use their music for their stream. Uh, lately with a lot of the DMCA stuff, nah, I I don't even take any chances. Oh, so yeah. you just go you just go full acapella. There's no there's no background music or anything. You just, I don't I don't no. play music either. I completely understand. Not because of that. I just like don't really even when I'm not doing for stream. I don't listen yeah. to music. When I'm playing video games as well, like Overwatch for an example, I listen, I like listening to the sound cues. So if you hear you hear Nana use uh, the sleep dart or the footsteps or anything, you know, I, th- I think that helps a lot. The competitiveness. Would you yeah, say that sure, gold sure. is the hardest rank in Overwatch? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I can't speak from experience. I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've never, yeah, I've never been out, here, brother. So I've never been out. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there, man. I'm sorry. Wait, so what's the lowest rank you've been, even on an alt or smurf or whatever? Oh, I mean, I have. I okay, I have Smurfs that are like uh, diamond. He's a you know, Smurf. If Tim the Tatman, if, if if Tim the Tatman's ever plays, I, I I have a like you know I play on it. <laughs> But I don't play on it with if Tim the Tim. Tatman's not playing. <laughs> it's actually really funny. I played a game with Tim, but I didn't have like voice on at all, and I was playing out of my mind, carrying his dog widow gameplay. Like he was Whoa. just he was, dude. He could not hit anything on the Hanamura map. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I was I was doing it all. And I was blasting music, streaming to like 30 people, and he was complimenting me, and I didn't hear any of it because the music was so <laughs> loud. <laughs> and he's just like your teammates, man. Dude, I I was I was like just like playing a normal day, like it was just completely zoned out. I was just feeling it, and I didn't want to talk to anyone or anything. So just had the music oh, on, man. and Chat's just like, I think that's Tim the Tatman, and I completely ignored them. Like, why would Tim be playing Overwatch? <laughs> He's a Call of Duty streamer. That's just someone else. Don't worry about it. And like, I go back on his stream, and it's just like this guy is just ignoring me, but he is doing so well. And I'm like, oh my god, I missed out on talking with Tim, the one who got away. <laughs> Tim's, a, Tim's a cool dude. I love him. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. He's a he's a very fun dude. He seems yeah, like a, now very, a very genuine guy. Yeah, but he's now if I see him playing and Overwatch and you're queuing with him, I will not be queuing up if we can go against you guys. I do not want to <laughs> oh, fight. Oh, we lose. We you lose. guys lose? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we lose. Because I refuse. If I'm playing with them, obviously he's not at our level. So when I do play with him, I refuse to play my mains in lower yeah. SR. Because I think it's not fun for anyone. Because you're honorable. Thinking, that's like, fair. Yeah, okay. That's an yeah, honorable so, thing to do. So yeah. then I, I pick, like, Reinhardt, and I char Like, I, my Reinhardt is, <laughs> is absolutely dog, and I we lose. Not because of same. me, though. I, I blame my teammates. It's never my fault. Tim, oh, uh, Tim, it can yeah, never Tim's be fault your too. fault. <laughs> exactly. I'm a Reinhardt, with, I'm a, you know, trying to protect my team with gold damage. <laughs> mm, true, true. My Reinhardt is terrible. I don't know what it is. It I'm like a magnet. I'm a magnet for getting Reinhardt charged. Like, I could be on the other side of the map. I hear the Reinhardt, like, 
4,000 feet away. And I'm just like, okay, there's no way. And then he just comes out from the right, like, what the? And then I'm pinned every <laughs> single time. And when I try to pin, I think I knock every single person into the sky. Yeah, and then I they know. all just turn on me and just mulch me. And that is it. There's no... Yeah. There's no chance I'm ever doing well on Reinhardt. It, yeah, I, can't I do have it. a DPS mentality, so it's like I want to go, like, you know, In. kill the enemies. I don't want to protect my team. I don't want to heal my team if I'm healing. I want to, you know, go kill. So the I thing think that's is, mm. with my gameplay, like, I come from Counter-Strike. Like, I have, like, maybe 4,000 hours in CSGO and stuff. So I have really, like, I wouldn't say really good, but I'm very decent aimer. And I can pull off a lot on of the really X-axis. crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because CSGO doesn't have an up, so I fucking hate Genjis and Doomfists because I have to move my mouse up to hit them. But I can do, like, really crazy shit, but I my positioning and my game sense is, is like, just, I have none of it. And, like, Tubold will be yelling, he's like, why the fuck are you there? Why are you there? <laughs> like, in the He'll video- just be running straight into <laughs> Winston S. McCree. Like, dude, he's got, like, five people behind him. He hasn't even jumped yet. And Louis is just like, but I want to fight him. I'm like, yeah, but you can't. You I can't like do you- it. <laughs> If you get really good at Overwatch, I feel like that would tra- transfer to any other game, though, because yeah. Overwatch is a really complex game. Yeah. Like, you have you, know, you have Overwatch players who are in Valorant. You have Overwatch players in Apex. Ev- everywhere. Dude, it just yeah. sucks, though, because you can only, can, you can though, can only queue up with one other person in, what is it, uh, Grandmaster and above, right? That's still a thing, right? 3,900 and above, yeah. Oh, uh, God. That's so miserable. I... I, I want that to change, man. I miss queuing with, like, you know, like, a bunch of streamers having fun. But, you know, I can't do that anymore, sadly. Yeah, because when you're streaming, it. you're just, like, doing constant competitive a lot of the time, right? And then you just yeah. can't bring in a group. That's yeah, so I remember. I remember there was an event that came out. And, you know, I think it was Lucio, you know, that Lucio ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it was me, Flats, and Emon going to, you know, three stack and, you know, do it for fun. But we couldn't because we were GM players and wait you can't even queue for lucio ball? ball can't even queue. nope can't queue together that's what the crazy hell, dude? Man. you can do well but you can't trio which is yeah, it's ridiculous me and my uh me and my buddy got top 500 in lucio ball when the first season came out because we found out that if you just stay on both the jump pads like and you have one person in goal every time you launch the ball at like this certain angle it will always basically just go in so if you're not constantly paying attention you can just keep the ball like in their goal basically the entire time <laughs> It's the best that. strat ever. It was. It worked Cheating, flawlessly. <laughs> and I That's hate funny. how Lucio Ball is now with random shit everywhere. Like I can't do the yeah, iron, the Iron Fortress like strat. <laughs> Have, do you ever take advantage of like the Overwatch content creator Discord for like talking about changes you'd want to see or anything? I don't. I've never talked in there. Me neither. Yeah, I'm just there. I just think it's cool because there's big streamers. They're like, 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 I'm pretty sure XQC is in there. Uh, a bunch of the people who were very big in Overwatch, but they're just not uh, playing the game anymore. Yeah. Um, I yeah. I, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I always express how I feel about the game on my stream, and I'm pretty yeah. sure, you know, some people who work for Blizzard are probably in my stream watching. I feel like it's, you know, you're just screaming into the void. Yeah. That's basically how I feel like what it is. is- what exactly do you scream the loudest at them? What is the one thing you want to change the most about the current meta? If you could get them to change one thing right now, because my dad works for Blizzard, so you got to... <laughs> Mine too. One thing right now, you know, let's see. We haven't had a new character in two years. We haven't had a new map for competitive in two years. Whoa, I think whoa, the characters... So you just want more stuff. You want, par- you more want stuff. Paris think, added? Well, when you say more stuff, I don't want... Because I feel like they're adding a lot of ridiculous... Echo is ridiculous. Immortality is ridiculous. Wrecking Ball is ridiculous. I feel like too many too many things are, you know, broken. If they yeah. add more and more that combats the broken things, kind of like League, though, I think that could work. Because then people are less focused guess, on yeah. this one character for so long, and instead they learn others because there's such a wide variety. Do you think if Overwatch did, like, the pl- uh, character lock like uh league it would it, it would completely change the game right you couldn't just like counter oh i agree they actually heroes. they came out with bands but i feel like uh overwatch doesn't want to let their players have a lot of power in the game so they you know <laughs> i don't know i don't know like it's true i don't know if you guys ever played when there was the hero bands but like they pick the heroes that yeah. get banned oh yeah whatnot. i think i think it should be the players yeah picking the bands per different map so it's always different so if you play a dive map and you ban- dive characters you know, it's going to be different than, let's say, if you play King's Row and you ban, like, Reinhardt. 
Yeah. So, I I feel like they should give players more uh, power, but I don't I don't. It's Blizzard. So. I remember when they banned all of the the hit scan, and then it was just Pharahs everywhere. Oh and yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It was a weird time. Why would the they do that? Was definitely very interesting. I thought that was the the most. Honest to God, strangest thing. I was just like, why would they choose which characters they ban? Like, without <laughs> any, like, consensus on it. It's just like, all right, we're going to get rid of every hit scan. Good luck. And it's just like, all right. And he just one Faramane has been like, my time has come. <laughs> like, he, he just yeah. flying around with his mercy. They were so You're like, happy oh, there's nothing week. I can do. <laughs> <laughs> no McCree, no soldier. All right, good luck, Baptiste. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they need to uh, do some changes there. But I'm just a streamer, so I have no idea. I feel like there's not enough never... characters, though, for, like, bands to... Because I feel like there's a lot of carry characters that obviously get picked any time, like, Reinhardt or uh, even, like, Mercy or Anna, that if people just want to, like... They would be getting banned so much, I think. Well, I mean, don't I feel like they should need I mean, it's been we've been shooting... We've been shooting two shields, like, for a year now. Nothing yeah. has changed, so... You know, I just want them to come out with something, you know, e even if they, I mean, Apex has been, Apex, I don't know if you guys pay attention to Apex, but Apex was a great game when it first came yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. it was amazing. They came, they came out with no content. The game died. It had like a thousand, two thousand viewers, but now they're coming out with content. They supported their content creators that stuck with the game. They're coming out with ca new characters and it's, you know, it's popping off again. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. just Overwatch needs to do that. Yeah. Overwatch needs to uh, change some stuff up, but I don't. I don't think they're going to, or willing to, to be honest. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They just signed with Microsoft. That's a pretty yeah. big change, wouldn't you say? <laughs> True, but we're not going to see what until twenty twenty three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's get past the small details like that. Let's <laughs> let's focus on I, they I got acquired. I, wanna, <laughs> I don't know if I want to play Double Shield for the next ten months. <laughs> They they need no. a battle pass, man. I I would invest. <laughs> yes. They need a little free. I think free to play. They yes. Free to play. Oh yeah. Yes. Make it free. free to play. Yeah. Rocket League it, saw wonders when they made their game free to play. It the was insane. That the amount of players that were playing is like yeah. over I, a million. That's what I think. Yeah. Point. Blizzard. I don't know, man. They. I don't know what they want to do. I think make it go free to play, and they do. Like Blizzard does a great job on skins. If they came out with like skins like Valorant does, I'm pretty sure it oh, doesn't feel special them. to own all the skins because everybody can have access to them. With Valorant, because everything costs money and there's like kind of a gambling thing involved with like the marketplace. I actually, well, somebody made a TikTok today uh, that said that if you have, if you use the Depths Vandals, uh, that the Depths is uh, the the name of the skin and the the Vandals the gun. They said you're this racist. Is your um, favorite. Color. <laughs> and so I, I I felt a little bit attacked by that. That my favorite <laughs> Vandal skin gun means that I'm racist. You're a racist. Uh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I, I, I feel like they should come out with new stuff like that, though. Because I'm sitting with almost... I have, I'm sitting here with all the skins in the game and a hundred and, like... I think I have, I have like, 200,000 currency. Oh, and I can't do anything with it. And at like, least you're so opening I, your boxes. I can't stand have, the people that just have, like, 500 of those unopened things. Oh, yeah. oh, I have that. I, oh, for, a subathon, no. for a subathon I did, I think it's on my YouTube channel. I opened, like, 2,500 boxes. It took me, like, five hours. <laughs> it's been miserable. <laughs> oh, I went to sleep. Here is <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally went to sleep on my stream, just opening boxes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You have all the golden like guns. Clicker for it. I have all the golden guns. I have. I can unlock the next twenty characters. Golden <laughs> guns. I have thirty, like three thousand competitive points just sitting there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do you have every achievement though? No, I don't do achievements. I do though. Uh, I, J3 a, achievement videos do well. Emo, I talked to Emong <laughs> about it briefly, and he saw a lot of views on his achievement videos. Really? Okay. I'd I recommend have to it. get into that. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Good luck with uh, Doomfist hit six enemies at once with his ultimate. Oh, yeah. I had, had, to have, I had a whole GM. team help me out with that. <laughs> Jeez. If you could do that in, like, one sitting in GM, <laughs> I would say you're the greatest Overwatch gamer to ever touch oh, the There's sticks, no way man. I could do that. I remember <laughs> Tim the Tatman when Doomfist came out got something like that. It was really? A clip of that. Really? Yeah, oh, he got, like, the, like, five or six. I'm pretty sure it was six people. Yeah, it has to be yeah, all It has six. to be six for the achievement. Which is That's insane crazy. because now you have people running like two shields and like if you don't have every man in a Zarya grab along with like Sombra ulting them, they're just gonna live. And you're just like, oh, true. Right, well. <laughs> That's true. 
What are you supposed to do about that, man? Is there any I new would... games that you're oh, you thinking go. of coming out that you wanna that you're looking forward to? I don't know if Overwatch has gotten stale for you oh, or not. I just <laughs> Overwatch might be built different. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're Overwatch an Overwatcher to heart, huh? Yeah, I mean, I love the game. Like, I came from TF2. I love games where you can, like, you know, you fight. Even if you die or feed, eight seconds later, you're right back into the fight. I, I like games like you. that. Constant action. I can't get into stuff like Valorant. You know, you die. You just sit there spectating or stuff. I, 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 I you so but then you can shit talk them. True, but you can shit talk in Overwatch. Okay, true. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can, and then uh, I mean, Apex. Apex has been great. I like Apex. I, I like Apex too. Apex Have you been is on good. the competitive grind of that as well. Yeah, I like. I hit like Diamond One or Two. I'm trying to hit. I want to see if I could hit Predator just for myself. Basically. That's all. New series. Oh, God. Setting a yeah. goal. Predator is really hard though, because like they keep like they have like scaling uh, like ranking or whatever. So like the mm -hmm. people that are in Predator, like the, the the amount keeps going higher and higher and higher. And, like it just goes forever. Like the number one person in Predator is like thirty thousand SR in in yeah, like Predator. And you're just like I mean, there's no way like a human can normally get to that unless you're constantly grinding. It's crazy. It's true. It yeah. has to be like a twelve year old that has nothing but time. I mean, you have to get in at the very start of the season and then just keep winning so just... fast to get there. I always gotta like queue with friends. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, that I, too. I know what they're doing. Because I like played with AC. some random people. That game pisses me off when I have a solo queue octane. As soon as a fight starts, this guy puts his jump pad down. I think we're going to fight. No, he goes backwards and then we're all, they're all down. He's all the way like on the on the next map, basically. Dude, I hate people that run away in those games. I'm like, I I just want to fight, man. I can't I can't do exactly. this thing where I'm collecting loot for an hour and a half just yeah. to die to one person because they shot me in the back. Especially first. when you're talking, I need to, to be in team. there. It's like we're going in. I'm giving you ten seconds, and then we're gonna go in. And then you turn around, like ten seconds later, I'm being like fucked by three people, and they're like a <laughs> mile behind, still looting. Looting. And he's like, bro, you didn't say anything. It's like I. Like, you can't see <laughs> the voice in that game is awful, though. I don't know if you guys ever yeah. noticed that. Oh, yeah. It's so, so quiet. They change that. <laughs> Dude, it's so staticky. It's so good. It's so low, too. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. I'm waiting what? for Elden Ring. That's my next big... Oh, I'm excited right for Elden there. Ring. So you can only make... This might be a dumb question. You can only make Overwatch content for Florida Mayhem, right? I mean, I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I play Overwatch every day regardless, so... How how often do they reach out to you being like, hey, make this video for our channel? Oh, maybe just once a week. Oh, and, uh, like, that's kind of required, like, one video a week working with them? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're 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 friendly with uh, videos and whatnot, because um, there's been, like, uh, like, you know, something to happen, and I couldn't make, like, a video with, like, flats or something, so we couldn't make videos, but they're kind of they're kind of nice about it. Okay. But yeah. usually it's once a week. I'm so into just uh, like the idea of if they ever reach out and being like, come to the studio, we're going to have you do an IRL thing. But apparently like you, you haven't really done too much of that, but that's like uh, something I would like to see. Yes. That, that, the only thing I've done is the story of J3, which was, uh, it was video. really fun to do. It was really fun to do. It was different. It was in the, and seeing how they edited was, uh, it was great. Your dad seems like a dope guy. Uh, he's funny. He's funny. Yeah. He's a fun guy to hang out with. I feel the same way about my dad. I tell my chat all the time, like, if you like me, <laughs> my dad is like me, but, like, plus one. <laughs> Two, yeah, Bold's dad dad has stories. Two Bold's dad has to eat a shoe because uh, Two Bold That's made true. a living off of streaming. Mm -hmm. he really? Yeah. He made a... my, my dad, uh, I, I would confidently say, he might say otherwise, but I'm, he does not like video games. Like, he thinks it's genuinely a waste of time. When I was a kid, that's, like, all I did, right? Like, that's I just what, yeah, exactly. That's all I did. Yeah. I, like, and my dad was just like, listen, you need, to, you need to go out and do stuff because you can't make a living off of video games. And I'm like, I'll show you. <laughs> and, like, if, it's like, if you make a living off of video games, I'll eat a shoe. And I'm like, That's going to okay. be good content. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's been building up for years. My dad's like, I need to see your, your tax forms and stuff. I'm like, oh, you're going to see them. <laughs> I'll have them <laughs> italicized. Funny. Yeah, I got to, hold on, let me let me show you a thing that my dad's going to have to do. Hold on. That's actually funny. Yeah, my dad plays Overwatch sometimes on my stream. I've seen yeah. you guys even put on the diva suits. Yeah, he's, he's actually, he, he loves Bastion, and he's actually got a 6K. Oh. oh wow. He's actually got, I, think, I don't know if I have that on my computer. I my dad can never. You just say your dad got a 6K? Yeah. yeah. IRL. So I found oh. this at a yard sale. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, an Overwatch. <laughs> 
I found this at a yard sale, and uh, I made a tweet about it the second that I found it. But uh, it's a boot. Oh, <laughs> so when cool. he has to when he has to eat the shoe, I'm gonna have him drink out of this as well. <laughs> For the audio listeners, and, uh, it's to the glass boot. Yeah, it's a glass shoe like you see in the movie. Um, has a oh god, I don't Beer know what it's called the Das. Yeah, it's Das Boot. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's great, and I can't I can't wait, man. It's uh, it's gonna be a big day when that happens. Because so it's been to... 16 years in coming. We made this bet when I was 16 years old. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, I, I had the same stuff with my dad. Say uh, he he was uh, doubtful at first. I mean, sure. any responsible parent legitimately would be though. Like it's. Like yeah. your kid being the top one percent to like ever make it into an industry like this and then make money off of it, it's it's a pipe dream for the yeah, for a sure. very large amount of people. Unless you're exceptionally skilled or exceptionally like good at just making things out of basically nothing. Just pretty good. So crazy. for me for music, I mean it's a similar thing. It's like only very the very lucky few get to make money off of doing music. Um and my so my dad never wanted me to get into it, but my dad is one of those people that made a lot of money with music. He was a producer in the 80s and still today. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, awesome. And he never, like, he begged my mom to not let me do music. And I just, I just, just did it. My mom, uh, my dad told me, all right, you have until 24. And if by 24 you are not, like, making a living, no more music. I was like, all that right. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. And then at 24, I got my first big check and I moved to L.A. <laughs> oh dang yeah. that's cool that's cool Getting right that's, under the that's buzzer. awesome Your dad's I, just like uh yeah, that <laughs> was insane. the my, buzzer beater dude <laughs> it's like... my parents were hated the idea from it like as early as high school like i know jay he got a week to do it louis had until like 24 like the moment that i started uh, not uh, i guess kind of slipping in school my parents just hated the ideas of video games uh and I mean, especially doing youtube uh, i think it, i think it's amazing I mean, yeah. like, uh, like I had a week for sure, but like, uh, he, 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 every day was pressuring me to like, you know, do the entrance, entrance yeah. exam for like, you know, yeah. nursing and whatnot. And I actually, I actually have it right here. It's my first check ever from uh, Renegades. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I still have it. Yeah, for sure. Do you, uh, do you think you'd ever see yourself like moving out of Florida for like a content thing? I know that, I know that like you're working with Florida Mayhem in Florida, but I'm just asking cause I, I moved from New York to California. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I actually, um, so this is, this is, uh, you know, this is my dad's house in Florida, uh, but I, uh, have a different setup in Canada, which is with, uh, Bree, oh. the, the girl, uh, that I'm dating right now, yeah. Very cool. Oh, okay. So, cool. I mean, if, worst case, if things get serious, I'd probably be in Canada. <laughs> oh, shit. Dual yeah. citizen? Yeah, probably, I mean, for sure. But it's, it since streaming, streaming is, uh, you know, I'm lucky to have it because I could go wherever I want. And, like, yeah. you, you guys as yeah. well, YouTube and whatnot, you could go wherever you want and just, you know, make content and just work. It's 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 a blessing at the same time. Mm -hmm. Have you done, like, like TikTok like... stuff? Or are you focusing on, like, YouTube shorts or? I tried, yeah, TikToks and YouTube shorts, but that's mostly with, like, gaming and whatnot. Yeah. And I, I yeah. Have you seen any it. success from that, like? Any bump in numbers through TikTok or shorts? Oh, no, not me. No, no, no. no. I, I mostly, the, the stuff that I'm heavily invested in is just my stream and basically uh, my, uh, the, the new YouTube channel. That's what I'm going to be That's good. heavily invested in. We had somebody on the podcast a few episodes ago tell, in, kind of inspire me to get into TikTok and it worked. Right now, a video that. You probably is know her, it. Athena? Athena, yeah. Right? Uh, uh, probably. Sure. I, have to see, I have to see a picture yeah. or a video. TikTok is crazy. I actually looked it up. It has one billion users. That's crazy. Holy, that's like uh, one eight. I don't know how many people. Like maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. eight billion. Say eight billion. That's one eighth of yeah, everyone. Seven, eight, yeah. Isn't that's that crazy? Oh, it's insane. The be I think it's like the best or the biggest, I guess, platform to become viral on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I'm pretty sure that would also help your, you know, your stream, your YouTube, and everything. Hundred percent. Yeah, I no, usually post just here. my gameplay stuff on that. I mean, one video got like 100K, but like that's that's about it. Yeah. Well, Dude. that's what my biggest song came uh, because it went viral on TikTok. And it, yeah, that's like, sick. Yeah, translated into like a lot of... Hey, any exposure is good exposure, man. Yeah. You've always been, you've always been uh, on Twitch, like you started on there? Yeah, the day I started... Uh... <clears throat> so I was actually lucky enough to get like way back in the day... Uh, I got when I signed with Renegades, they gave me like the Twitch verification, so mm -hmm. I didn't have to like 
stream for it, stream, oh, wow. like for affiliate and all that way back in the day. Oh. And uh, so that's basically what started that all off. So, but I mean, yeah. Be before the bug uh, meme that, come, like you said, like blew up your channel, was there like, um, was your the tone of your channel more like competitive gameplay? You're gonna come here and see like me play very well, and then like after that, did you did you notice like a tonal shift in your stream? Like it became more about like being funny or making these memes and stuff like that. Um. I not really because I'm still a very competitive person. Yeah. Like I want to. If I'm playing, I'm not gonna play a game to try to lose. I want to yeah. like play to win. I actually don't play any game that doesn't have a competitive scene. So if really? I'm playing Valorant, I don't play. I, I don't even play quick play in Overwatch. I just play competitive. I'm the same everything. way. They get mad. I play competitive Apex. If I well, if you tell me, hey, you wanna you wanna just ca ca casual play Apex, I'm like nah. Has to be competitive. <laughs> yeah, because well, yeah. Louis says that, yeah, we hate it. The reason is that my clips that go onto my YouTube channel, like a lot of my content, is ha usually has nothing to do with the game. So when we play competitive and then people are more focused on the game, I'm just like, this sucks! I'm not getting any clips! So then that's why <laughs> I usually prefer quick play over competitive. I mean, it makes sense. I think, yeah, makes sense. I think it's I'm just, just sometimes... very competitive. Yeah. yeah. I get that. I it's mostly just like sometimes you just want to sometimes I just want to turn my brain off and not have to think about the positioning of every single character on my team and track ultimates and stuff. And sometimes I just want to be on the flank with Zenyatta and hold down right click and spawn camp a Widowmaker for five lives. <laughs> and start and I'm just like True. that's like that's a lot of fun to me. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh yeah, I, I should I should uh, say this. Yeah, I mean six stacking in Overwatch. Uh, luckily, we have the benefit of being able to do that because we're the like masters at highest. Uh, I think that's the most fun you can do in Overwatch. Yeah, I have videos on my YouTube about six stacking a long time ago. Even if you waited like a 30 minute or an hour queue, I've seen oh, a few, few hour long queues. It was How? fun. Like back then, oh. it'd be like <laughs> me and five other content creators against like two, three stacks of Overwatch League players. Even if we might win or lose, like it was still really still competitive up, yeah. and really fun compared to what it is now yeah. what it is now is like i get like you know it's just me like you know bill on you know flanking zenyatta me and him are the only ones in voice chat and then i try to talk to him saying hey can you stop flanking he leaves voice chat and then cusses <laughs> <me>. <laughs> yeah. and then i'm just like yo thanks bill <laughs> so me and tubold came up with the what i like to think is not only the, the next perfect. meta but the perfect <laughs> a dps duo <laughs> Uh, in all of Overwatch, and uh, we call it Tiddo, and it's Torbjorn and Widowmaker, because Torbjorn has his turret that covers medium, Widow's long range, and then he also has a hammer at short range. I love so hammering people. So it's all yeah. all ranges are covered. What do you think about True. this? You I think, think it would good. implement. Yeah, I like it. I I love playing Torbjorn. I love going for, you know, you hit your E, go in, and start meleeing people. It's crazy. I love it. So next yeah, stream, that's... you're going to be yelling we'll at your DPS duo, telling them to get on Widow. Yeah. Tiddo. For sure, yeah. It sounds like me and uh, Kefri had to do a little duo then. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, you got to try the experimental patch with the current Torbjorn changes, where every time you hit someone consecutively with uh, your left click, it will start ramping up the damage for five seconds yeah, that's every crazy. time you hit it. Dude, I melted a Reinhardt in three so it's shots. it's like a bleed like, oh, effect? Shit. No, it's just the, it's the like, raw if you shoot damage someone, is crazy. Yeah, if you, let's say you shoot someone with 10 for 10 damage, and then you shoot them again. Instead of being 10, it would be like 15. Shoot oh, them again, it would be like it stacked, so it would be like 20. I think it's like something like That's that. That's terrifying. If I'm not mistaken. And it goes on for that for five seconds, so you can stack all of the buffs on top of each other for like a full five seconds. So when you hit your E and you walk up to a tank, like point blank range, so you can't miss your and then a Reinhardt just explodes. He doesn't even respawn. He just dies forever. <laughs> that's, that's the funny. game is instantly uninstalled. For <laughs> it's like 15 stacks with Torbjorn have been reached. I'm sorry, you can't play the game for the rest of the week. <laughs> Do you so think you'd ever take on... Uh, being accepted as somebody who I guess affects the patch notes for an experimental if they reach yeah, out to you. Yeah, I was about to ask. Yeah, I'd be down. But it, like a lot of people who are um, looking for updates in the game because you know there hasn't been a lot of updates. They're they're thinking a lot of these content creator patch notes are gonna go live, and they're always like they're all they're all freaking out. Like, hey, why does you know Reinhardt have like nine hundred health and what crazy? But I, I'd be I'd be down to do it. Mine would be a lot more memey though. Yeah. Somehow find, Just give them some, all find the memes. Yeah, <laughs> like Flats, Flats, gave, Flats gave the Orissa a uh, 
a Christmas hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was really good. That was really solid. See, mine would be like Tracer gets one blink, and, but it's a really long one. It's you just, you just keep, you <laughs> just spawn keep to spawn. going. Hey, and if you hit the idea. rewind button, if you hit the rewind button, you just keep running backwards across the entirety of the distance. So you can see her still doing it. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. I think it would be great. Like, Doomfist gets one punch. That's it. But he goes straight through everything. Like, just go through oh, the wow. wall. Just keep continuing. <laughs> that would be cr- kind of crazy if uh, things on Overwatch could break, though. Like, you know, walls yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. That'd it's be not, dope. Not, it's not, the, the, all walls don't come destructible. Doomfist just goes through the walls like Danny <laughs> Phantom. Like, it just, it just pops yeah, out on the other side, and your Mercy dies. He's like, damn, damn Doomfist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Mercy, it would change the game if you could can, you, can they do uh, that in an experimental? No, you just want your railgun no. tank. He just wants a railgun tank. I want That's a what sniper he tank. I don't know about all that. That's going to turn into, like, <laughs> Valorant and stuff, shooting through walls. Yeah. I think it would be cool, though. Some stuff. Not do you all think, of it. Do you think a sniper tank could make it into the game, like, there's a place for that? Because I've always dreamed of it. Just no. Like, <laughs> no? Tanks are, I think tanks... Like, <laughs> one, one good thing about the experimental that I like is that tanks are having the tank they're not dps players anymore like big meaty dps players they actually have to tank so i think that's fun I, and i think supports have to support yeah. but there's a lot of uh except a lot zenyatta. of support well zenyatta can yeah but i think there's a lot of things going on right now like tanks are like just big dps players and then supports yeah. are just dps players as well I like being able to kill things as Zenyatta, okay? I feel like there are some people that are forced into healer because they hit flex because they want the little ticket thing so that way they can bypass the hour-long queue so that they can play the characters they actually want to, and I feel like I should be allowed to play Zenyatta. If you want Zenyatta to not do damage the way he does damage, <laughs> then give him footsteps. Otherwise, I'm flanking with him because I'm silent. I'm a ghost. I'm the nightmare in the uh, you when you close hear- your eyes. <laughs> that's his, that's his new footsteps out. <laughs> he's just humming to himself like some mantra. <laughs> like, what the hell is that noise? It's like it's the Reaper. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it'd be great. I want to think of more like fun stuff that you could do for um, uh, Overwatch characters. My brother has crazy ideas. He's if like, I, I want to push every character to the extreme. If I ever become one for uh, Overwatch, I'll, I'll hit you guys up. Yes. 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 Andrew, this is the kindest thing anyone sure. has ever told you can go into a private meeting and just have an earpiece in where we're just whispering things for you to say <laughs> i don't know about that doomfist one i don't like doomfist i don't like him going through right, walls so and getting like i have a doomfist change every time you hit one of his abilities it doesn't work and he just trips and falls i, I like it perfect. i like it i don't like doomfist Nobody does, dude. I have a Here's very simple thing. change. I think that whenever somebody gets hooked by Roadhog, they just, like, it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, but they're screaming. You know how when they get charged, they scream? <laughs> but whenever they're getting hooked, they're screaming the same way as they're being pulled to Roadhog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pulled closer? That's funny. Yeah, I, like I love it. that. Mine is uh, uh, Zenyatta must walk. Unless, unless you, like, are charging up, and then he hovers. That's my thing. So that way it makes sense when I'm flanking with him, right? So I have to, like, crouch. And I just want to see Zen walk. I think that would be great. Also, Genji can't I think deflect they did bullets because he's a human. Did they? <laughs> they, they made Not Zen game. walk, I think. No, no, no. They, For, like, they uh, did briefly. Oh, really? a little meme, though, on, like, Twitter. Oh. Oh, oh right, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They made Torbjorn, they... like, climb a wall, but it was, like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, the wall. Yeah, they made Torbjorn <laughs> wall climb. I like that. That was funny. <laughs> I feel like Torbjorn should be able to wear his turret as a backpack. <laughs> I feel like he cool. should be able to run around with it. That's I feel like he should be able to ride on, on top of Arissa. Yeah. yeah. Combine Upgrade characters. Arissa. <laughs> I mean, Arissa's, you know, she, she is a horse or whatever, so yeah. might as well. I mean, speaking of, uh, of changes, I mean, uh, uh, in terms of Twitch do you think you'd want to change anything about their platform? Because in my opinion, I feel like Twitch, it's very hard to grow if you don't already have a uh, a following. Because a lot of my following comes from YouTube. So, um, That's a tough question. I think Twitch does need to do stuff because I feel like YouTube, if if Twitch doesn't get, get on top of their stuff, I think YouTube will take over. Mm-hmm. They're, like, mm-hmm. you know, they're doing great changes and they're always looking like, I remember they're coming out with clips now, they're coming out with BTTV and, you know, you know stuff on emails for YouTube. Uh, they acquired. But, Facebook. like, Twitch Twitch has just been not doing anything, not caring, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, know they, I know they came out with this, like, I don't know if it's in the in, on anymore, but they there was this thing that if you're 
if your chat donated a lot or whatnot, you could go on like the front page or higher up on the page. Oh, that's and, cool. Yeah, I, have, I see those like but, right now. Actually, it says promote. But I also order. heard that if you're trying to get your streamer to get more, um, you know, to get them, oh, God, what's it? Advertised. Exposure. The streamer isn't getting any of that revenue. Oh. So, what? so, so it's like you're supporting. So, let's say I give you five bucks to get like higher on the list to get like viewed. You don't get it. Twitch gets it though. So I, I mean, I rather support the streamer. Yeah. I, I don't know. But it does support do. the streamer, just not financially. Yeah. <laughs> it's so that's so uh, strange. What? Jeff Bezos knows how to make his money, man. <laughs> He's what are these Twitch frogs, and why do they keep coming out of my bank account? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jeff Bezos really is Lex Luthor. I like the more I look at him, the more I'm seeing the transformation. He just hasn't found a Superman to fight, so he's just taking out poor people. <laughs> didn't he want to like? I don't. I don't really follow a lot of things outside of gaming, but didn't he want to like destroy like an old bridge? Yeah, I a, talked about that the other yacht? day. Yeah, yeah, he built he built then, it in a bay, and, then <laughs> and it's just were, like I can't get it to the ocean. And he's like, destroy that bridge. <laughs> yeah, and then people were threatening him that they were gonna throw like rotten eggs at his boat if they were like trying to destroy it and like go by. I don't know something ridiculous. Oh man, I thought that was the most Lex Luthor shit on the planet. I'm like, why are you building your yacht here? You know you can't get it to the ocean. He's like, we'll worry about that later. It's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that was the response. They wanted to egg his boat. Yeah, that's funny. I've been egging before. I, uh, I I have too. <gasps> what did you egg? A person. You know, houses around when I was a kid and like Halloween. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was unbelievable. Yeah. Around Halloween, I was um I went to one of the pass-throughs in Central Park in New York, and we yeah we got a bunch of eggs and we're throwing them at cars, and then as we were leaving the park, like we had to hop a, a fence. There were just three cop cars that rolled up and they had like, it, it was oh, like a wow. swatting because they came out of the back of one of the vans and started charging at us. And then immediately, as soon as the cops got out, you would just hear a bunch of bags being dropped because it was a bunch of kids with like weed on them. And all you oh, could hear wow. was cops like wa like sprinting at us and a bunch of bags being thrown into the, <laughs> the park behind us. And then they went up to us one by one, like flashing lights in our, in our eyes and faces. Uh, and then they asked us to open our bags. It was weird. because I guess they didn't really care that much because I only, I had like three pouches i only showed them one and they're like okay you're good mind you i mean at, at the time i uh never smoked or done anything like that but uh, a bunch of other people did that was scary and then when we were leaving my friend got tackled just on the side for no reason like by another one of the cops despite us already being searched um what that, the hell? that and that was my first time doing something Retality. yeah it's like the first time i had been uh doing something i guess against the rules and yeah, that definitely shaped how much of a pussy I oh, was growing up. Oh, no, I know how you feel. I used to be in photography, and I used to go on rooftops on Miami Beach. Oh. And so we snuck on, like, you know, like, these hotel rooftops to get, like, you know, a great sunset or whatever photo you were looking for. And uh, I remember getting caught, and there it was a weekend, too. They were like, yeah, if you get caught now, you know you're going to stay in, uh, and stay in, you know, the place for until Monday. And I was like, oh, God. But they, were, they, 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 let, they let us go. So, oof. <laughs> I have a, scary. a close call. Like, uh, it was, we were in, like, we had to be, like, 15, maybe 14. And we had, uh, sorry, we were 17 because my friend was driving uh, on a learner's permit. So he didn't actually have his, his license. So oh, no. it was just him, his mom's car. We had a bunch of wine and beers and, like, a shit ton of weed. Um, and we were parked at a park because that's what we thought was smart to do. And just drinking in the car and smoking. And then all, all of a sudden, from the back of the car, we see this fucking, like, high beam light just flash our car. Oh, because geez. you know how, like, the cop cars have, like, those lights mm -hmm. that sit on them? And then as soon as that happened, it started pouring. Like rain. So the cop car didn't, he just, the cop just went away because he didn't, I guess he didn't want to get wet. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> it was, my the heart was like. Call racing i was like holy fuck we're going to jail we're going to jail i'm going to <laughs> my mom's gonna hate me like <laughs> oh i don't think i've ever had any close encounters with the law i was a very i was a very like chill kid growing up i just yeah. wanted to play video games and go home i, I was very boring as a kid i had no There's close encounters with the car i did however um 
I don't even know if I want to say this on podcast on record on the chance that like my mom's friend ever listens to this specific episode, but I like basically ruined her friendship with like someone like across the street because I just lied. And like to this day <laughs> to this day is like my biggest regret is doing that. Like my friend had a BB gun <laughs> and we were sitting at his like uh he had a lake house, and we get invited over to it uh, every couple of summers. And uh, he was like, hey, you want to try and shoot up my BB gun? I'm like, yeah, sure, I would love to. And uh, I go to, like, his window, and I just start taking pot shots at, like, across the across the street at, like, this dude's house. And I'm just, like, hitting his, like, garage door, and it, like, pings off the garage door, and I guess it was, like, hitting his car with, like, the ricochet, because obviously I'm not going to shoot the car with a BB gun. That's a message for bad luck, but it kept pinging off the car, and apparently it scratched it. And I was like, oh, but like the the neighbor like comes outside and he like sees the car and like he sees me like he doesn't see the bb gun he just sees me like staring out the window and i'm like and then i just like hide behind the window <laughs> <laughs> and he comes over and he's just like your kid scratched my car that's the one he like points at me and i'm like i didn't go near that car <laughs> it's definitely not me and my mom and like my mom's friend stood up for me he's like he's such a sweet boy he would never do that and he's like he's a liar and she's like no he's not he's a good boy it's like you wouldn't lie to me would you I'm like i would never <laughs> and, like oh, I, I fucked up that guy's car oh, no. <laughs> and they still don't like each other because of that one interaction and i Are feel still terrible neighbors? Oh yeah, he still lives right across from her on the beach house. Every time I went there, I'd like look at him, and he'd be like, I'm like <laughs> "He'd give me Damn. like this death glare." <laughs> I'm like, "Dude, it was like a pock mark on your car. I'm sorry. I like I was a kid. I I never apologized to him, and I'm never having this conversation with him ever because he scares the shit out of me. He's a huge bald dude. It's terrifying." <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. No, no runs with the law. Just large bald men that want to kill me. I guess. So I'm a very loud person. When I have headphones on, I'm very loud. Yeah, like you're I talk in. very. Yeah, like and, I, and when I'm playing a game, if I'm mad or something, I do a mistake and I'm mad at myself. I slam my desk. <laughs> so when I was in Canada, we have an apartment, and uh, I was I, it was I was arguing with someone online, and uh, I actually had the cops called on me, <laughs> and. I didn't hear it at first as well. They've been outside. They, he claims that he was outside for like 15 minutes, but I was, I, you know, I have my headphones on and I'm playing the game and I'm still screaming. But uh, I heard I, they knocked. They knocked on my back door, and that's why I heard them. And I went to go answer the door. They were like, "Oh, we were so close from you know knocking down your door." They thought it was a domestic, like you know, violent. Oh. They, yeah, they thought I was like, you know, you know, hitting hitting my girlfriend at yeah. the time, but she was at work, and we had to prove <laughs> that she was at work, and oh, oh it was crazy. But they were Canadian cops. They were really they they were really nice. What do they call the Montes? <laughs> yeah, like they 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 were really <laughs> like up with moose. <laughs> they 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 came in. They were like they then I didn't. I was like, hey, yo, I'm streaming a game. I'm doing nothing. They checked the house. They were like, okay, hey, we're sorry, we're sorry. We, we didn't want to bother you, but we yeah, had, you know, obviously sorry? they're doing the job. Yeah, they Holy they apologized shit. to me, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> they're like, I, I understand they're trying to do their job, but they're like, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. You you know, you got to do this, and you know, it was cool though. I lost my 50 SR for leaving the game though. Oh no. Okay, but you should have told the, them. That was what really hurt. Yeah. Then they were just like, oh, we're so sorry about that. We just thought that there may be a bit of a case going on here. So, you know, we just had <laughs> the moose out front. And it's hard to explain. It is. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, yeah. I'm playing video games. This is what I do for a living. And then, they, you know, they're much older. They were just looking at me like. And they're playing 20 questions. <laughs> and like, how do you make money off of this? <laughs> yeah, they were just looking at me like, I'm like hey, bro, I'm just doing, trying to kind of game, man. <laughs> So Wait, when, so when how I long had... have you uh how long have you been dating this this girl in Canada? Have you met with her parents and whatnot? Oh yeah, three years. I've been with wow. them. Actually oh. I met her she was she used to be my manager for one of my teams that I was playing in after Renegades. Uh she used to be a manager for a team and there was a uh, DreamHack Montreal all the way up there where she lives, so I actually went to that. We came in first and that's where I met her for the first time. And uh, Came then in we first. went to Twitch. Champagne was uh, flying. I get it. Oh, no, I had, <laughs> I had Korean barbecue though. Oh, I love Korean hey. barbecue. And soju. And soju. Yeah. Oh, really? That's nice. And then, uh, yeah, we went to TwitchCon together, and that's basically we how we started seeing each other. 
three years. That. So that's beautiful. The reason I ask is because uh, did you ever have to like explain what you do to her like parents or whatever, and then have them oh, play yeah. like, the twenty questions game with so, you, just like <laughs> yeah. I drove from here all the way up to Canada for twenty five hours and brought my whole setup oh. and streamed in their basement. <laughs> Jesus, was that the first time meeting them too? No, that wasn't the first time meeting them, but uh, it, it was it was interesting. It was fun. It was, was it? Fun. Did they have judgmental faces when you came up from the basement for the first time? Like after uh, after streaming or something? No, I think I think it was after the first week they noticed what I what I was doing because and um like I said I'm loud. Yeah. They would hear me all the way up <laughs> yeah. on like the you know the top one where they're going to bed, and I and I don't want to you know since I'm at their house I don't want to be like crazy slamming my desk so you know I had to change a little how I act yeah. and everything. Did you keep the yell pillow next to you so you just go? Like no, I, <laughs> I had to close like every single door though i have the i have the this is my mascot scoot he's a sloth he, he's my scream pillow sometimes i'll just be like <laughs> they just scream into him as last thing i used to have i don't know if you can see i used to have winston i don't know if it'll go in focus like a winston plushie yeah, I had a, he was next to me. I got mad one day. He, I threw him across the room. But uh, he's now. you should get a body pillow, <laughs> like me. A body pillow. Yeah. And me, just like, saying. Best a body mind, you. you seem like a man that enjoys anime. Am I, I am do I like wrong? anime. Yeah, you find your favorite anime girl. Put her on a pillow. Boom. Louis' That's favorite anime is My Hero step. Academia. Incredible. Uh, I was about to say, my hero is Resident Sleeper. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no! Yes! No! I say this all the time, dude. Shit. I fucking love it. I think it's Resident Sleeper, man. It's, it's not my so favorite, bad. but I think it's good. It's what, what's time. your favorite? What's my favorite? You oh, had to pick so one. Or... Evangelion. Just say, no, it's just not say Evangelion. Yes, okay. it is. Okay. <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> I love Evangelion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever? Uh, I call it Hunter X Hunter. I pronounce I, it X, but people call it Hunter Hunter. Hunter. Hunter I love Hunter. I haven't finished it. I haven't finished it yet. I watched it like seven, eight times. Yeah, I love it. It's so good. I just don't I like the idea it. that apparently they're never gonna finish it. I mean, the like guy got the sick, anime. did he not? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what happened? He's coming back though. He's coming back. I think he's written he's a couple oh. chapters. Oh, awesome. For Hunter, okay. for Hunter Hunter. Yeah, it's I sort of like Overwatch Hunter Two Hunter though. Prison. It's like Overwatch oh. Two. Like the guy comes back. He's like. I'm going to continue writing, and then something else happens. I don't know. It's just... Oh, uh, jeez. I know his wife does anime, too. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She's the one She's the one who made Sailor Moon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. So they're just like the power weebs. couple of anime, dude. It's crazy. It's a... Uh, what's it called? Hunter Hunter was, like, one of my favorites because I loved watching the, um, the, uh, the ant arc. I think yeah. that was just... A lot of people Pentagon say that was, that was boring, but I loved it. It's just Dude, so psychological and just so, like, crazy. Watching the especially, fight with King especially is... Oh, I, I loved it when, you know, the main... I don't want to spoil a lot of stuff, but when the main character got, you know, older, oh my goodness. Yeah, that was hype as hell, man. Spoilers. That was crazy. Spoiler. <laughs> I don't know people I don't grow up oh, oh, in anime. I said, I, I said he got older. Like, yeah, it's people, ruined. People I can never age, watch man. it. People <laughs> age, bro. You don't know how he got older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a super loud, uh, like... I slam my desk. I throw everything as you. I have, I have like three keyboards because I've like thrown my keyboards down or I'll, you know, like hit my keyboard yeah, for, sure. for jump king and stuff like that. So every time I'm playing a new DLC of it, I have to sit my roommates down. It's like, hey guys, it's happening again. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I promise you, I will try to be done within a week, and it'll just be me starting stream at like seven a.m. Going until like uh, midnight and just yelling and crying. And <laughs> oh, that's what you hear in this house. Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a lot. Of, they actually had to change my door because I screamed too oh, much. Oh, you got so like, a, like like a heavy door. Yeah, but I think you can still hear me. You don't have this <laughs> sound dampening things. Oh, yeah, I do, room. but damn, you I'm, must be loud, loud. I'm, I'm very loud. <laughs> I, I know my that's upstairs good. neighbors hate it's passionate. My ass. <laughs> Like the floor is so thin. Why make a house like this? Oh, it's so sad. Man. He's just gonna fall through one day. Do. No, one day they're just gonna come down to my front door with a bat. And just... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be the end of me. <laughs> and I'm gonna oh, be like, God. you know what? I probably deserve this. <laughs> that's gonna be. That's gonna be it. <laughs> but hey, man, you know, sometimes you uh, you gotta let loose what's inside. I think it's healthy that. True. Way. 
no matter how much they disagree. Hey, I'm pretty sure if you tell your neighbors that you're playing Overwatch or something, they'll understand. <laughs> you don't understand. The only, reason, the only reason they put up with me so far is because the first time they came over, uh, my upstairs neighbor's this uh, lovely lady. Uh, she's just like, listen, I have friends that play video games. I understand why you're being loud. I'm like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sorry I'm being so loud. She's like, but you make me regret being home. I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I was that like, okay, funny. well, I mean, that's fair enough. I should probably tone it down. <laughs> so now when it comes to, like, midnight, I try to be as quiet as possible. Obviously, I fail very frequently, but I try. I, I'm actively attempting. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. The, the poison of my mind is from video games. It's, oh, Same it's here, man. Uh, <laughs> I put I put 3,000 hours in my stream the past three years, I think, every Holy year. Holy shit. My goodness. That's, that's impressive, powerful, man. man. Most of that is Overwatch, so my my brain is gone, man. Overwatch brain rot. I want I want you, I want to take you into gold, and just so you can see how tough it is, out in there. <laughs> oh God, that could be <laughs> a good video. It's just Smurfs from your rank, in my it's rank, trying to make Louis. them feel good about them. You can't tell it's me not it's Smurfs. not. I've seen <laughs> I one feel, or two I Smurfs. Like, yeah, but it's not that many, Louie. I feel like. You, man. Yeah, I feel like the not to be toxic, but the reason you're in that SR is because it's not because of Smurfs. Oh, like one or, oh, you said you belong there. I think it's like maybe occasionally you might get that one or two Smurfs, but may, yeah, but I don't think it's all all the time. Damn. When you see the when you see the level twenty five playing like McCree, and then okay, he switches maybe, to Widow. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he switches to Widow, and your game's done. True. <laughs> See, that I could understand. I tell Louie, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's clearly a smurf. That man has grappled into the air and killed two people before he hit the ground. That's, you know, fair <laughs> enough. You're probably not winning this one. However, the vast majority is you walking into three people, and I'm like, Louie, you, <laughs> you gotta reel it back. Is this like an intervention? <laughs> like, you know, is this the reason you brought uh, Overwatch Pro to tell me that I'm terrible? Oh, I'm <laughs> a pro, man. <laughs> Yeah. An intervention would be if you had issues like with constantly playing Overwatch. You oh, don't yeah. have issues with constantly playing Overwatch. <laughs> the intervention would be uh, you and Jump King, honestly. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm starting up the new DLC. I've talked to my oh, roommates geez. already. Oh, no. Are you really? Yeah. It's just such good stream content, man. Like, God, my chat gets it. so into it. They love it. I never I can't do it again. Game. You should try it. I'm never doing it. I'm never doing it. Is it something that would make me get mad? Oh, mad oh yeah. you... Oh, God. Dude. Like, bad. I went from the first Jump King to the third installation. Like, I skipped the middle one. Just went from the first to the third. The first one I did in 12 hours. Like, I just sat down and I completed it. And it... Jeez. It was a thing. It, I was I was very much... You could tell from the stream that I had. Like, the very beginning, I'm, like, very bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. By the end of it, I looked like I had been contemplating the worst possible thoughts of humanity for a solid, like, three hours. You but discover emotions that you never... That nobody has ever felt. You know? so it's <laughs> like, God, I don't know if I'm ready for that, then. <laughs> I think I think you would genuinely have fantastic content come out of that. But you have to realize the vast majority is going to be... Uh, a lot of rage, <laughs> and then incredible relief. Like, just the best feeling ever. And then it never played again. You can do it during queues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you can, can do, it. do it during Steam? queues. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll probably check it out. I think I think that's probably the I feel bad for, for do it. I feel bad for this. <laughs> it's like, what, this is bad this? advice we're giving you. Don't play the game. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, I just like, want to see it. Oh, God. <laughs> it's basically just one tower all the way up. And it's all one frame, like you can't go left or right. Oh, you I've just seen go this. up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A few Overwatch streamers have done it. It will be like just take a day to do it. If you can't beat it in a day and you feel like you'll never go back, just do that. But seriously, sit down and just do. Just say, chat. Today we're doing something a little weird. <laughs> we're playing Jump King, and Most you're gonna have people just Omega lulling for the entire twelve hours. Omega downing. There's so many emotes with. that have like been created because of Jump King. Like this Omega lol just tumbling down, and then your whole That's chat funny. does it, so it like <laughs> just cascading. That says the number one right here, most helpful review in the past thirty days is uh the guy said recommended twenty two hundred twenty one point four hours on record. All he says is, ah. <laughs> yeah, on that note, I think that is a great amount of time recorded for an episode. Thank you so uh, much. J three, do you have any? conclusive thoughts or anything you want to shout out 
I mean, sh shout out to the the new IRL channel. That yes. good guy. Sub to it if you sub to it. Uh, five cents to a, a charity. Probably a cancer research because F cancer. Yep. And uh, you know, share it with your friends, your family, and you know, hopefully it grows up to be big enough where I mean, we're not just me, where the community is able to help more people out. Awesome. And you're just J3 on all other social medias. Yep, J3 on uh, Twitch, J3 Twitch on Instagram, and uh, TikTok. Excellent. Great. Yeah, thank you so much for, for joining us on today's episode. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for having me. It was fun. Of course, of course. All right, See and to the, uh, the viewers... Thank you guys for watching, or if you just listened, thank you for listening. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for all Have the support. Good one, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for watching.